If you're a fan of rap or music in general, you've by now heard of or have seen other people talk about the mass MC MF Doom. From his start in KMD to his debut in 1999, Doom has garnered a cult following while still remaining largely unknown by mainstream audiences. In contrast, most every career rapper not only know who Doom is, but many have mentioned him in interviews, on social media, or even in their own music. Because as this user puts it, MF Doom is your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. The YouTube algorithm just loves to sandbag my videos in search and discovery and hitting the like button minimizes this and helps to spread the video to a wider audience. Alright, now on to the free content. Gambino is easily one of my favorite artists of the last decade, and while I'm not a big fan of his most recent record, I definitely have a lot of love and appreciation for his earlier projects. Off his first studio album on the track That Power, Gambino says, He had a very similar bar like this on his 2008 mixtape Sick Boy. These references may not come as a surprise to any long-term Gambino fans. In fact, Glover once cited The Far Side and Doom as artists that he would listen to on loop during his college years. I'm F Doom. When I was in college, that's all I listened to freshman and sophomore year. And it was great because he had a cool voice, he was rapping about comics, but also he was doing punchline raps way before anybody was doing it. Even before Lil Wayne got a hold of it. Love him or hate him, back in 2013, Drake put out this tweet in reference to the track Accordion. This tweet sparked minor backlash from hip hop heads who found it almost impossible for a mainstream artist such as Drake to be a fan of Doom. These underground hip hop heads are getting mad because Drake quoted uh, MF Doom. A similar situation would occur four years later in 2017 when Drake took to Instagram and posted this photo of the Mad Villainy album cover and again referenced the track Accordion in the description. And just like last time, controversy spilled over on whether or not Drake was actually a fan of Doom. Most recently, however, earlier this year, Drake shouted out some of his favorite hip hop artists on his Instagram story. Among them, none other than MF Doom made the list. It's undeniable that Peggy, aka JPEG Mafia, was heavily inspired by MF Doom. From his oddball experimental approach to lyricism, to the mostly self-produced nature of his projects like Veteran and All My Heroes. It's not all that surprising that Peggy would reference Doom in multiple tracks. On the track Post Verified, Peggy raps, <laughs> Lastly, on a Primera Sound interview, Peggy is asked about his influences, to which he responds, I, I looked up to MF Doom in particular a lot because, um, his come up was kind of strange, you know? He kind of was in the industry, and then he left the industry because of tragedy, and then he came back almost like on, re on some revenge shit or something. I don't know. It, it's kind of like he doesn't, it's, he's like the anti hero to me. But. To most fans of rap, it's no surprise that Earl and Tyler are huge fans of MF Doom. Nardward has gifted the two multiple Doom collectibles on separate occasions, but most notably to me, the two geeked out when attending Doom's performance way back in 2013 during their tour in Europe. <laughs> oh my god! Aside from this tweet and being featured on an avalanche track with Doom, Danny Brown went more in depth on his love for the villain in an interview with Complex when discussing his top 25 favorite albums. Mad Villainy ranked 12 and he said this, I never knew you could make an entire album without hooks and make it sound that good. You broke the rules of songwriting, that album broke rules to me. I'm all about that. That album showed me that music has no rules. Before that, I thought you needed 16 bars and a hook to make a good song. I listened to that album and it clicked. Then I could listen to his old shit and get it. But by far, my personal favorite reference has to be this interaction Danny and Kenny Beats had on the cave. Hey bro, stop playing the MF Doom, you're scaring all the chicks, No, you bro. ain't, that, no, <laughs> I, I, my ladies like the Doom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, see, I, don't, I don't know girls like that age. My ladies, like, yeah. All, got, the, all the girls I meet, I have no idea. I 30s bro. and up, and they like the, they, you know what I'm saying? They like the villain. They like the metal. I'm the, I'm the biggest fan of all time, but when you play it for a girl and make your boy be like, hey, bro, you can put on some tiger. You know what I'm like, saying? <laughs> get a little nag champa going, man. Mm -hmm. Throw some motherfucking ball villain on or some shit.
I think Joey Badass has the most tracks on this list that are wrapped over an MF Doom beat. World Domination, Amethyst Rock, Oh Dear, Penny Royal, which is a track whose name was lifted off the original MF Doom beat. It's no surprise that the track Deep Fried Friends is referenced on the outro of Hillary Swank. In March of 2009, while hanging out in the studio and working on what would later become his fourth studio album, a video was recorded of most Def geeking out over the masked MC. In this now infamous video, aside from reciting lyrics from Mmm Food for like 5 minutes straight, he also had this to say in regards to Mad Lib and Doom's classic Mad Villainy. He rhymes as, as weird as I feel. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I swear to God, when I got that, when I saw that Mad Villain record, I bought it on vinyl. I didn't even have a record player. I bought it on vinyl just to stare at the album. Wi-Fi's funeral has an entire video on the Pitchfork YouTube channel breaking down his favorite verses on Victor Vaughn's Fancy Clown. And I was like, I didn't hear his vocals yet, and then the first song that I heard from him was Fancy Clown. And that was like 2014, 2015. And I remember my mom banging on the fucking... One of the more controversial entries on this list has to be Freddie What City Fam Gibbs, when in July of 2019, Gibbs was questioned on how he felt in regards to his collaboration with Mad Lib being compared to Mad Villainy. We should also talk about the Mad Villain album, which was, uh, have you spent time with that, Gibbs? Yeah, definitely. I tried to top that. Like, I, I used to hate when people would be like, oh man, yeah, this Mad Villain. I'm like, okay, man. Let me show you about, let me tell you about this. Yeah, yeah. so every, every day, my whole, I'm, I'm a competitive guy. And I know Doom can't rap as good as me at all. Like, so it ain't like he can't rap like ain't, he can't rap like this, fam. Like, so he made a great project. That's MF Doom, bro. I don't care. He's like, an icon. I'm Kane season, fam. So <laughs> yeah, don't compare. Don't, kids. Yeah, you can't really compare me to nobody. So it's like I was like, damn, man. Like I can rap better than this dude, but can I make a better album than him? You know what I'm saying? So that was my focus. It's like, no, I no, gotta no, make no, something no. as great as he made. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, it's clear to most that this was just a tongue-in-cheek jab and that Gibbs and Doom are likely on good terms. That didn't stop a vocal minority of Doom fans from being outraged at what merely amounted to a competitive joke. Most of which probably failed to realize that the two rappers have put out music together in the past. Wanna die? The level of artistic appreciation Chicago-raised rapper Open Mike Eagle has for MF Doom is immense. On top of the several tracks they've collaborated on, he had this to say in regards to the villain. His flow, I have to be careful with his flow because his flow lives in my mind and like in my heart. I can almost get into his mind in terms of how he writes. Much like Doom himself, Steez is a low-key artist with a cult following, most of who I imagine know who MF Doom is. With that being said, Capital C's has multiple of his iconic raps laid over an MF Doom production, tracks like Dead on Arrival and Chicago. The most interesting reference to me though can be found on one of my favorite Capital C's songs. At the end of the vibrating music video, the camera turns to face Steve's, as the song All Caps can be heard playing over the raw audio of the video. <laughs> What I love about this is that Steve and his friends were just casually listening to MF Doom while shooting for this video. It just goes to show how much of a genuine fan of Doom Steve really was. In an interview with XXL back in December of 2013, Lupe Fiasco comments on a few of his favorite rappers from Kanye West to Outkast and more. Amongst these artists, he mentioned Doom, saying, The artist whom I find greatly interesting and inspiring is MF Doom. In an interview with Hip Hop DX, Nas mentioned how he's been wanting to work with Doom, and how he'd like to get both Doom and Jay Electronic on his upcoming album. His controversial ninth studio album would eventually release featuring Jay Electronica, but sadly no Doom. Doom himself has mentioned Nas in a 2012 interview, a few days before the release of Keys to the Cuffs, saying that I was at Nas's pool party. That shit was dope. I even bought a present. Yep. And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. 